Do you want to save $8,000? Well, if you're a first time home buyer or investor now in British Columbia, I have some good news for you. And this video is going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars. There's been some major changes to the property transfer tax exemptions for first time buyers and now investors in a specific context that you definitely want to listen in on. I am Kyle Mark, your Vancouver realtor. And whether you're looking to buy, sell, invest, or relocate to my beautiful city, Vancouver, book a strategy call with me. All my information is in the description below. I'm super easy to get a hold of and I am here to help. So let's get into the property transfer tax. Let's talk about what is it. As with anything on a major purchase, you have to pay the governments their piece of the pie. As a seller, you have to pay 5% GST on the commission payout. And as a buyer, you have a couple taxes. First off, you have the property transfer tax, which is 1% on the first 200,000, 2% up to 2 million, 3% above that, and then it goes on and on from there. If you buy a pre-sale property, not only do you have to pay property transfer, transfer tax, you also will have to pay 5% GST on that property because it is a new build. What the province has done now by making some extensions on the purchase price, it's going to help a lot more people in these urban metropolitan areas because the first time home buyer exemptions for property transfer tax were not a lot of help. First and foremost, on a resale property with the current rules, you had an exemption up to $500,000. You can't get a condo in any metropolitan area for $500,000. So anyone living in Vancouver, Burnaby, New West, West Vancouver, North Vancouver, it was very hard to take advantage of any of these benefits. Pre-sales, there was a little bit higher of a kickback up to $750,000 province-wide. So if you were a first-time home buyer getting into a pre-sale, which is quite advantageous for most people making that first initial leap, you could make that work you know, with $750,000. But if you're a family, that wasn't going to be an option. What have they done? So on a resale property, they have now increased the exemption from $500,000 to $835,000, which is a huge win. You're not going to get a detached property in these major areas, but you for sure can get your first home, maybe upwards of a two bedroom property, and there will be some partial exemptions from $835,000 to $860,000. On the resale side of things, there's been an even larger increase. So it went from a $750,000 fair market value to $1.1 million and a partial exemption up to $1.15 5 million. So what does full exemption, partial exemption, all that mean? What we know now is that on April 1st, these new exemptions will come into place. We know for certain up to $500,000, you will get a full exemption of that property. After that, up to 835, and then from that 835 to 860 mark, we're not entirely sure what that is going to look like. Some are saying you're gonna get an additional savings of upwards of $8,000, but we're gonna have to wait and see what those refunds are actually going to look like. But these are huge changes and very forward thinking, and I applaud the government for finally doing something like this because they had to step up to help first time home buyers to make a difference in their purchasing power. Power. The third dynamic to this is specifically for investors. If you are buying a property that is going to be a minimum of four units and purpose-built rental, you will also get that PTT exemption. There's no numbers out right now as to how high that exemption is, but starting January 1st, 2025, and it will extend until December 31st, 2030, investors who are going to want to build purpose-built rentals for a minimum of 10 years will get that exemption on that tax, which is also something that is much needed here in across the lower mainland. Currently for a full exemption up to $500,000, that is a $8,000 savings in tax. So depending on where these exemptions and partial exemptions are going to lie, it's going to return thousands and thousands of dollars back into your pocket, which is much needed. Any advantage that a first time home buyer can get, or even an investor who wants to take on projects for purpose built rentals, this is something that is much needed. So if you are wanting to get into the market, my personal story is I always went the pre-sale route Yes, there's a 5% tax on it, but usually you're getting some cost certainty in there. You don't have to deal with multiple offers. And then you can start using the higher end of those exemptions to save you a little bit more money. If you're a family, a young married couple, living with some kids, the resale property may not be the best choice, but the pre-sale up to $1.1 million is definitely gonna get you some bang for your buck and you're gonna be able to get a beautiful home within these parameters. So my hat is off to the provincial government. Thank you 
you for doing something like this. I still think the, the resale market should be upwards of that $1 million mark. Uh, and the pre-sale mark, I think 1.1 is more than fair, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. And definitely for those investors, we know that cities are incentivizing people for purpose-built rentals in certain zoning requirements. So you're getting higher FSRs if you are building purpose-built rentals, and now you're getting some property transfer tax exemptions as well. So these are all in line with what these cities and the province as a whole are trying to do to help people out to get into the market with home affordability and to get more units into the marketplace. According to the provincial government, most first time home buyers are under 35 years old and these new exemption rules are designed to save home buyers around $100 million once these come into effect on April 1st. So make sure if you're out there right now with your realtor, make sure that you are putting this into your strategy. So if you're purchasing something that you can can fall in line with these new exemptions so that you can save a little bit more money on your transactions. My name is Kyle Mark, your Vancouver Realtor, and whether you're looking to buy, sell, invest, or relocate to my beautiful city of Vancouver, make that strategy call with me. It's in the description below. And if you found value in this, make sure you check out my monthly market report videos. I'll put them up right here so that you can always stay informed and help you with your first time home buying decision.